title of my message is the stone has been removed the stone has been removed from your life in jesus mighty name every hindrance has already been dealt with through the resurrection the death and resurrection of jesus christ he overcame he left that grave and you can come out of that grave whatever it is whether it be debt sickness poverty homelessness come out hallelujah in jesus name because jesus lives there is victory in jesus name because he lives because he overcame there is victory for you in acts 4 10 peter had prayed for a lame man who by the gate beautiful and he says to the people let it be known to you all and to all the people of israel but by the name of jesus christ of nazareth whom you crucified whom god raised from the dead by him this man stands here before you whole this is the stone which was rejected Rejected by the builders which has become the chief cornerstone nor is there salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven by which among men you can be saved hallelujah thank you lord so he was a lame man a lame man who through the name of the resurrected jesus was healed that same resurrection power is available to every believer you know it wasn't just that the resurrection power the holy spirit came upon jesus christ that power belongs lives in us who believe in jesus it belongs to the church hallelujah in Ephesians 1:20, we read the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he worked in christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age but also in that which is to come every name that can be named you call it coronavirus you call it HIV, you call it cancer, you call it osteoarthritis, you call it blindness, you call it deafness. He is above every other name. He was resurrected, ascended on high, seated at the right hand of the Father, highly exalted above every other name that is named. That is our Jesus. He is not dead, he is alive. And he put all things under his feet, praise god your sickness your problems are under his feet and gave him to be head over all things in the church which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all hallelujah now jesus is seated at the right hand of the father he pours out the spirit of glory he baptizes his church in the holy spirit he gives us his peace his love his joy hallelujah Romans 8 9 and God both raised up the Lord and will also raise us up by his power hallelujah hallelujah the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead also raises us up hallelujah we were dead in sin under the wages of sin the consequence of sin death but he has raised us up through the shed blood of Jesus Christ his resurrection power Power, that same power that raised Jesus from the dead raises us up hallelujah and that power the spirit of the resurrection power lives in us Romans 8 11. but if the spirit of him who raised Christ Jesus from the dead dwells in you he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you I remember uh, about 20 years ago I was in Paraguay and I went to a hospital the Lord told me to go to a hospital and start visiting people so I found a little boy in the hospital with his father. He, he, at that time, there was, uh, there was famine and uh, the boy was half-starved. Half He'd fallen out of a tree and uh, uh, broken his leg and blood poisoning had come into his system. His skin was peeling off and to me, he looked like he was dying. 
and uh, the Lord spoke to me and said, have the boy receive Christ into his life, that the resurrection power of Jesus Christ will enter him. So the boy with his father received Christ into his heart and that resurrection power came into him. I went uh, back a few days later and that boy was healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jesus Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father. Resurrection power put him in an exalted place and he pours out the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2.33 Therefore being exalted to the right hand of God and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he poured out this which you now see and hear. And of course Peter is referring to the day of Pentecost, where people were drunk in the spirit, speaking in tongues. Fire was coming down. Tongues of fire was resting upon them, baptized in the Holy Spirit and with fire. Hallelujah. You know, through what Jesus has done, there is, through Jesus' resurrection, there is joy and victory. You know, where there's defeat, there's sadness. Where there's death, there's grief. But where there is victory, there is joy. You think about, you know, in the natural um, soccer teams when they win, the football teams when they win, and uh, the, uh, the crowd can go berserk, they can go crazy, they, they start shouting and carrying on because their, their team won. You know, Jesus Christ won the battle through his death and a resurrection. The stone was removed. He conquered the grave. He conquered death on our behalf. Hallelujah. And so there's joy. You know, when the angel appeared to the women at the tomb, they had come in grief. They had come to, with spices to embalm the body. They had come in grief. And the angel appears to them and said that, you know, Jesus will go before you. And so to go and tell the disciples. And so the, the women, they, they rush off and it said with great fear and joy. Hallelujah. They come in fear and they're in grief and they go in joy. You know, that's what happens when you have an encounter with Jesus Christ. And Jesus stands before them. He appears to them on the way as they're going to tell the disciples. And his first word rejoice rejoice hallelujah acts 223 you have uh, peter's preaching to uh, to the jews you have taken by lawless hands have crucified and put to death whom god raised up having loosed the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be uh, held by it. For David says concerning Jesus, I foresaw the Lord always before my face. David was seeing him always before him, for he is at my right hand that I may not be shaken. Therefore my heart rejoiced and my tongue was glad. Moreover my flesh also will rest in hope. Hallelujah. Whatever you're facing, rest in hope. Hallelujah. For you will not leave my soul in Hades, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. Jesus Christ, his soul descended into Hades, where the Bible says that he preached the gospel, take, ca took captivity captive and ascended into heaven. His soul was to say, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. Hallelujah. Three days and he was resurrected. You have made me to know the ways of life. You will make me full of joy in your presence. Joy unspeakable in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Let me pray for you. Uh, you know, there are many people who are facing difficulties and challenges at this time. I'd like you just to close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Forget about me. The Bible says, think on those things which are from above. It's looking unto Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith. Jesus Christ is raised from the dead. Jesus Christ is raised from the dead. And that resurrection power is available to you right now. 
just reach out to him who is seated at the right hand of God, seated in the heavenly places, far above every name that is named. His name is above cancer. His name is above coronavirus. His name is above arthritis. His name is above blindness. His name is above deafness. His name is above your mortgage. His name is above financial pr problems. Father, I pray, have mercy on all those who are watching. In Jesus' name, heal them. Deliver them. Those who are tormented with evil spirits, deliver them. Those who are afraid of getting coronavirus, set them free. Give them your peace. Put a hedge of protection around them. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon them. I speak resurrection power upon those who are watching. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ. I speak upon you in Jesus' name. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. You who are suffering from cancer. Resurrection power. I rebuke the cancer in Jesus name you who are in fear you who are in pain I speak resurrection power of Jesus Christ upon you right now resurrection power resurrection power come into you come into you in Jesus mighty name resurrection power the spirit of resurrection the spirit of Christ dwell in you come upon you Break the chains. Break the chains. Be loosed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for delivering your people from pain. Thank you, Lord, for delivering them from all types of fear, joblessness, sickness. Thank you, Father. I give you glory and praise. Amen and amen.